Hello students, uh, today we are going to see about the historical background and relevance and scope of FEM in the unit 1. Uh, in this presentation, you will, will have a clear picture about how FEM is used in the industries. So before going into the uh, topic, we must know the meaning of FEM. FEM is otherwise called as abbreviated as finite element methods and analysis. So the finite element uh, Analysis is a begin uh, stage by stage. So finite means uh, it is not only the uh, highest but it is the accurate and the lowest uh, value where uh, you can uh, analyze that is uh, uh, in other words we can say it as a micro analysis. So the accuracy as well as the uh, analysis is done in the micro level. So in this history, uh, you can see the slide, the finite element uh, in the year 1960, uh, uh, the method is uh, invented. Before that, uh, it is called, uh, it is one of the, uh, this method or the technique is the application uh, of mathematics over engineering. So the first uh, we will uh, have a trial function and the trial function is uh, derived by uh, variational method or any weighted residual technique. Uh, in 1870 it is called as a Riley Ritz method was invented and in the year 1915 the Calorican method, the most famous Calorican method was invented. And uh, similarly, the other uh, methods uh, include a similar structure replacement by 1941 and direct continuum elements in the year 1950s and the continual trial function uh, that is current 1943 invented by and the variable uh, finite difference method in the year 1962. So stage by stage it is evolved and uh, finally it is uh, coined by Clough in the year 1960 which is called as finite element method. So how the uh, finite element method uh, helps in the organization. So finite element method is one of the technique which is used to uh, uh, do analysis because in a, in a, in a industry is what we do is uh, generally we will design a component and the designed component is uh, manufactured and then it is uh, tested or else it is prototyped and it is tested. So the time uh, required for the uh, design or redesign or the testing or the tooling uh, will cost appropriately. So that is why this method is uh, implemented in the engineering uh, field and uh, where the components are analyzed according to their application. So the uh, complexity of the problem is analyzed and the uh, requirements are thoroughly uh, analyzed using this finite element method and then it is uh, manufactured at the end. So this is how the finite element method helps in the organization uh, in order to achieve a cost effective product. So coming to the scope of FEM, the scope of FEM is in various fields of engineering, is various fields of engineering. You can see the application of FEM in civil industry and you can see in the civil industry where the constructions are carried out and the uh, structural analysis is uh, uh, performed by using this uh, finite element method. So nowadays we use a software, that software is used to analyze the uh, different uh, architectures or different uh, structures uh, uh, so that uh, the stress, uh, the shear uh, properties are also analyzed in the civil construction, uh, civil constructions. So the analysis may include the uh, trusses, frames, folded plates, shell roofs, bridges and concrete structures and shear walls. So in aircraft industry, you can see here the aircraft industry is one of the leading industries where we can uh, we can use the applications <coughs> to analyze uh, uh, example aircraft components, uh, space research components, missiles, rockets and uh, small fins, uh, uh, turbine fins etc. by using the software. And you can see the colorful images. These colorful images represent according to the uh, parameters. So the blue color indicates a normal condition and the red color indicates the 
a highest value which means for example if it is a temperature means the lowest value is indicated in blue color and the highest value is indicated in the red color so in mechanical uh, engineering uh, you can see the design of pressure vessels pistons composite materials and the linkages and gears so these components are analyzed for the uh, stress analysis as well as the thermal properties of the same So other than the stress analysis, the thermal analysis, you can see here the temperature distribution is also analyzed. You can see the uh, solid and fluid properties and you can see the temperature values that is starting around 650 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Other than this, uh, the finite elements uh, software is used to analyze the uh, flow of uh, fluids, uh, viscous flows, uh, hydraulic structure, dams, constructions, free surface flows, potential flows, etc. So in electrical engineering, uh, the uh, FEM software is used to analyze the eddy current losses, core losses in the electric machines. So nuclear engineering, uh, the Pressure vessels are the nuclear pressure vessels contain, 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 containment structures are also analyzed for the temperature distributions. So not only the engineering industry, it is all, uh, also analyzed the geomechanic property of the earth. You can see the uh, stress analysis of the soil, dams, layered piles and uh, machine of hot valves. So you can see all these dimensions and it is indicated clearly and it is picturized how the temperature or the stress is distributed uniformly. Thank you.